I'm Charlie Moore, this is Bruins Academy. Hey everybody, I'm Charlie Moore, host of Bruins Academy. Bruins Academy is a TV series all about knowing, growing, and loving the sport of hockey, especially having more fun. Well, we have a great episode in store for you tonight. Drop the puck. We've got Bruins forward Matt Potch doing a little Q&A segment just for you. Plus, we'll travel around New England with Blades and some of the Boston Bruins players for this year's Bruins Fan Fest. And then we're off to Vegas, baby, with number 25, Brandon Carlo, for the NHL Player Media Tour, which is a very cool event. Listen up, I told you, we got a great episode in store for you tonight at Bruins Academy. Right now on BA, Elias Lindholm, welcome to Boston. Watch out for Lindholm. Lindholm trying to get a step in there. Shoulders Carlson away. Works to his forehand and scores. Elias Lindholm again. One of the biggest moves the Bruins made this offseason was signing Elias Lindholm to a seven-year deal. The Swedish sentiment has played 11 seasons for three different teams in the NHL. With a career-high 42 goals in the 2021-2022 season. Corner lets it go for Garland. Centers, Lindholm scores! Elias Lindholm! 62 seconds into overtime! It was an easy decision for me, uh, you know, joining this uh, organization and, and original six and so much history and so many good players on the team. Coach, how you doing? You made it, huh? Yeah, made it. Welcome, man. Thank you. Heard a lot about the city and being a Bruin and we're excited to join the organization and, and the city of Boston. So we're uh, we're pumped. The new number 28 will add a scoring punch and top-notch face-off skills to the Bruins lineup. He is expected to be the team's number one center and comes to Boston with very high expectations. I feel like all the pieces are right there. I think uh, for myself, just to, to come in and, and play my game and you know try to hopefully help this team to achieve uh, a Stanley Cup. Welcome to Boston, Elias. Up next on BA, when it comes to playing the sport of hockey, it's all about knowing the fundamentals of the game. Up next on BA, we got some hockey tips just for you. Stick handling is important because it will improve your puck control and overall skill. McAvoy gains the line, goes right through. Here's a drill to help improve your stick handling. We want to get the hands moving here. So this drill right here is called the box drill. You're going to put four pucks in front of you, and all you're going to do, you're going to try and keep those feet planted, and you're just going to go around twice on each one. Over here, two, one, do it again. Here's a great stick handling drill to help improve your toe drags. So all you're gonna do, you're gonna wanna put pucks in the line here. Can be five, can be 10, however many you want. And all we're focused on right now is pulling that puck in with the toe, pushing it out. In, push. Pull it in with the toe, out with the backhand. And once you get comfortable, then we wanna add some speed. Once you have the basics down, here are a few fun skill drills you can work on. Everybody loves doing the Michigan. So, here's a great drill to work on that. You wanna get three pucks on the ice like this. You wanna get it on the heel, push down, pull in, and then that's how you can lift it up. After we lift it up, we wanna attack the net. So it's like we're playing the cross here. We wanna pull it in, flip it over, and try and beat that goalie high side. So, three pucks. Push down, pull in, attack. Flip it in, push down, pull in, boom. Last one. 
I'm Coach Matt. Thanks for having me. This is Bruins Academy. Okay, folks, get ready for this. We have a Boston Bruins history nugget for you right now. Now listen, we all know Bruins captain Brad Marchand has played his entire career right here in Boston. And in 2024, he made history yet again. Loose on the doorstep, it'll come to McAvoy. One time, scores! Brad Marchand is the all-time Boston Bruin leading playoff goal scorer. That's right, number 63 scored his 56th career playoff goal to set a new all-time Bruins record. He passed the one and only number eight, Cam Neely, with that goal. And my guess is Captain Brad Marchand isn't done just yet. Okay, right now it's time to clear off the ice, go to commercial break, and get ready for period two. Welcome back to Bruins Academy, you hockey freaks. I'm your host, Charlie Moore. All right, now it's time for the Boston Bruins and some of their players to hit the streets. That's right, it's time for this year's Bruins Fan Fest. And I think you're gonna like it. Bruins Fan Fest looks to grow the game of hockey with stops across New England. Each event features activities, giveaways, player autographs, and a whole bunch more, all of which was a big hit in Lowell, Massachusetts. It's insane. I mean, we have the best fan base in the world. A big part of being a Bruin is, you know, giving back to the community, and we love them. They're so passionate. That's one of the big reasons that I love, you know, living in Boston. Fantastic. Without, you know, the fans and, you know, their support for us, we couldn't do what we love to do and be able to give back. And, you know, whether it's just putting a smile on a little kid's face one day or, you know, Contributing to charities, it's massive for us, and uh, you know, obviously, it kind of helps our following as well. This year, at the Plymouth Mass Stop, Bruins fans got an extra special surprise when Massachusetts native number 13 for your Boston Bruins, Charlie Coyle, joined in on all the fun. Ladies and gentlemen, from your Boston Bruins, Charlie Coyle! It's awesome, it's awesome. Just being from the area and, and getting to see people come out like this and, and get to interact with them is, is, is a special thing. It's great to see a great crowd out here in the summertime and everyone's getting excited and geared up for the, for the year. So it gets me excited and gets me pumped up as well. I just met him. It was one of the best experiences you can get in life. We don't get this every day here in Plymouth. We're just known as the town of rocks. The Boston Bruins always give back to the community. It really is fun to see the organization and some of the players interacting with you, the fans. I personally love it. Up next on BA, Matt Potter is doing a little q and I got a question. I'm sure you guys recognize this guy, Matt Potras, yeah. number 51 on the Bruins. Where am I from? I'm from a little town in Canada, Whitby, Ontario, around Toronto. So I played in Canada basically my whole life until I moved down here. How many goals did you score? <laughs> How many goals did I score? Uh, I think I only scored five goals last year. They go round and round, back foot snap shot. Here's a chance, Patra right in on goal, he scores. Oh my, what a move by the rookie, Matthew Patra. His fourth goal already this season. How will you feel like with the Boston Bruins? Uh, it's, it's going really well, I've only, I've only played just last year. I really love it, everybody's been so good to me and I, I mean, I've just been having a blast. Yeah. Who's your favorite teammate? My favorite teammate? <laughs> 
<laughs> Put me on the spot here. I'll go. Marshy's, Marshy's always been really good to me, so. Yeah. Here's Patra. In a load. He scores! Matt Patra pots another. His third in his last two games. Welcome back to Bruins Academy, everybody. I'm your host, Charlie Moore. We hope you're enjoying this episode of Bruins Academy, learning a thing or two about the sport of hockey, but most importantly, having some fun. And speaking of fun, Vegas, right? That sounds like fun. And number 25, Brandon Carlo from your Boston Bruins is headed to Vegas. Hey Bruins Academy, Brandon Carlo here. We're in Las Vegas, Nevada for the NHL Player Media Tour. Come follow along. Nice to meet you and thanks for coming. Before the start of every season, the NHL holds the Player Media Tour, where one player from each team spends two days doing promos, photos, interviews, and all kinds of cool stuff for media from all over the world. Hi, I'm Brandon Carlo uh, with the Boston Bruins. This is my EA Sports NHL 25 rating. We're doing a holiday song? Okay. We love hockey and we love pucks. We love Zambonis, they look like trucks. Uh, Patrick Kane. Uh, Patrice Bergeron. Brandon, nice to meet you. Okay, I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit. And then look at the camera. Hey Brandon, how are you? How are you? Thank you for helping us out with this. Hey everyone, Brandon Carlo of the Bruins is in the house, folks. We are rolling. I'm ready. Here we go. All you. I'm Brandon Carlo from the Boston Bruins. When it comes to the sport of hockey, it's all about shooting the puck in the net. Well, to get better at that, you have to get stronger and better conditioned. Up next on Bruins Academy, we're doing just that. We're gonna get stronger and we're gonna get some conditioning in. Basically, we're doing a BA workout. Woo! Not me, I'm gonna go get a cheeseburger. Be back. Hi, I'm Kevin Neald, head performance coach with the Boston Bruins. Today, we wanna to talk to you guys about lower body strength. One of the best things that players can do to make it easier to get into and stay in deep skating positions is to develop lower body strength. The first exercise we're gonna go over is called a lateral squat. So I'm gonna have Tim set up with his feet outside of shoulder width, and all he's gonna do is squat down to one side, and as he does that, he should sit down to a position where his shoulder, his hip, his knee, and his toe were all in alignment on the side he's squatting towards. This is one good way to start to develop some lower body strength in pushing laterally like you do on the ice. The next exercise we're gonna go through is called a reverse lunge with the knee drive. So I'm gonna have Tim actually turn sideways so you can see the step back. But from here, he's just gonna take a step back with his left foot lightly touch his knee to the ground, and as he stands up tall, he's gonna drive that knee forward. One of the keys to this is that, especially as he's going down, that on that right side, that his hip, his knee, and his toe were in alignment. So as he's lowering and controlling his weight, there's no collapse in of his knee. He's staying nice and strong and sturdy through that leg, through the whole range of motion. The next exercise we're gonna go through is called a two-leg hip bridge with their feet on the foam roller. So this is a great exercise 
to start to strengthen the muscles on the back side of your lower body. And the first thing I'm gonna have Tim do is just reach both hands up towards the ceiling. From here, he's just gonna push through his feet and lift his hips up towards the ceiling. As Tim pushes up, he's doing a great job of making sure that all this motion is coming from his hip there's not a big arch through his lower back. The idea with the roller is that as he's going up, that roller is starting to slide away from him and he has to use his hamstrings, the muscle in the back of his thigh, to prevent that roller from going out. So this is a great introductory exercise to start to develop some strength through the back side of your body. Thanks for having us on Bruins Academy. The Pittsburgh Penguins have won the Stanley Cup. Okay, everyone, class is in session. Bruins Academy, we have a very special guest on this episode, head coach of the Pittsburgh Penguins, Mike Sullivan. Mike, thanks for being on Bruins Academy. My pleasure, Charles. Now listen, you've coached back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. You've played the game of hockey. You've coached the game of hockey. So, as a coach, what are the three basic tips you can give the young and old coaches out there that are watching this episode tonight? Well, the first thing I would say is, is to create an environment that's fun. I think it's so important that, uh, that kids grow up in, in, in an environment where they, they look forward to going to the rink every day. I know we all want to win and we're competitive guys, but, uh, but I think the environment is really important for young players. So that would be my first thing. The other big point I, I would make is, is allow your players to problem solve. You know, you can't give them all the answers. I think a big part of being a good player is developing hockey sense. And the only way you do that is, is you've got to problem solve and you're on the ice. I'd rather focus on those two because I think those are critical. You know, I think coaches are well-intentioned when they're coaching young players. And sometimes there's such an emphasis on winning, it's easy to play safe hockey. And that's not the, the ideal right. environment that's conducive to developing players that can make plays and problem solve and develop puck skills. And they have right. to make plays. They got to fail. Right. They have right. to fail. And, and, and that's how they they learn how to succeed. Right, coaches, this is coming from a two-time back-to-back Stanley Cup champion, so uh, listen up. Coach, thanks for being on Bruins Academy. My pleasure, Charlie. Okay, class, I hope you listen up to Coach Mike Sullivan. The coach has won two Stanley Cups back-to-back, -back, so I hope you wrote those notes down. Up next on BA, we're gonna go in the system. Hi, I'm Jonathan Morello. Thanks for having me on Bruins Academy. And it's stolen away by Morello. Ventura with Morello. Picks it up, shoots and scores. What a shot from Jonathan Morello. I think I fell in love with hockey almost instantly. Just, just seeing the, the pace of the game and then, you know, going out on the ice and, and not even being close to that. Jonathan is a six foot three inch, 190 pound center who turned his love for the game into a college scholarship at one of the best programs in the entire country, Clarkson University. I saw that, you know, the facilities, the hockey facilities were unbelievable. I mean, they had, you know, their gym was unbelievable, their rink, um, their room, everything like that. And then I think what initially drew me in was probably the coach's interest in me and, you know, how they, how they saw me being a big part of the future there. Loose in front, second save, scores. And looks like Morello in front. The Boston Bruins also saw something in this fast skating forward out of Toronto because the Bruins selected him in the fifth round of the 2024 NHL Draft. You know, it was an awesome experience, you know, amazing venue. When I heard my team's name and they called my name. From St. Michael's, in the OJHL, Jonathan Morello. It was a surreal moment. Um, there's like no words that can explain that moment at all. Hey Cam, Eli, how are you? Well, good. How are you? Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. I've always had um, you know, so much respect and admiration for the Bruins, uh, being original six franchise and having so much history in the organization, and just the way they play the game. You know, they've always played, you know, a hardworking, gritty game, and uh, you know, something that I'd really like to be a part of someday. And again, and again. That's it? What's your, wait, 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 that's a wrap? Wow, that's it, that's a wrap on episode 95 of Bruins Academy, the show all about knowing, growing, loving the sport of hockey and having some fun in the process. 
From all of us here at the TD Garden, your Boston Bruins, I'm your host, Charlie Moore. Thanks for watching this episode of Bruins Academy. Go Bruins. Woo! Yeah, baby. I don't have that one. Did you get one? It's in your back pocket. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah! Yes! Woo! Speaking about having fun, welcome to Boston. That was a good one. That was the one right there.